hi everyone welcome to our channel so today in this tutorial i'm going to show you how do you create a youtube thumbnail on clipchap so let's get into the video so firstly open up clipchap okay so once i've opened up clipchap now what we can do is let me create a video so i'll go create a new video okay so what i'm going to do so let's create this and i'll just choose a random sample video okay i'll use this all right let me click and drag it okay and i'm going to bring it to my timeline because i'm going to work on this video all right okay all right so now so now what happens is that okay i'm going to create a thumbnail for this uh video here so what i'm going to do first i want to select a frame that to a frame that i can use to as the thumbnail so for example let me uh choose a frame from this video so i want to probably just just choose any 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 frame which you would like to so all right so so okay all right okay so for just for just for random for just for random demo so this is fine for me so i'll just use this okay this frame is fine for me so what i'm going to do now here is i'm going to um firstly i'm going to like uh, ensure that uh this is on the right side so for example for if you want to make thumbnails then you're going to make sure that um you got the right resolutions like the 1020p is good enough and also especially the ratio so for any youtube players and for thumbnails you need the ratio the video the i mean the video uh, ratio into, to be like 16 to 9 which is this one so click on the ratio option and then select uh 16 to 9 because that's the correct size for thumbnails so choose that so make sure it's, it's selected 16 to 9 all right so that's fine so my um size is fine everything so what i'm going to do now here is i'm going to add a add a text here so what i'm going to do i'm going to like uh, mention say something so i'm going to add a text or oh yeah so click on this text option here all right so just click on the text and then we're going to add a text here so i'm going to probably choose uh choose some any 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 uh format here it's like any style you want so probably okay so probably okay this is fine i'll try to use this so add it to my timeline so what i'm going to do now here is okay i'm going to edit this so I'll click on it and then edit my text so what i'm going to put here is this is uh, okay my demo okay just put it as my demo okay so this is enough and then what i'm going to do i'm going to i can select my font if i want to change the font i can choose these all right so whatever that i like so i'll choose that okay so i'm going to choose that so that's fine and then um so once this is done so what i can do i can just move it probably here okay so that's fine and then um apart from that if i want to uh for example what are you going to do so if you want to uh, add a picture to this like uh, apart from this frame here i want to, you want to add another picture so you can also do that so for example i will just choose a picture from uh, from my stock images okay so you can also um uh, you can also add it from your from your file as well from your laptop but i will just um, use mine from my uh, stock images for example here okay so what i'm going to do i'll just use uh some free some uh, free picture here so probably okay i'll use this one here i'll add this to my timeline all right so once uh so i'll, I'll choose this picture and i will drop it down here so i'm just going to place it next on the same place as where i've uh, placed my text so that i want to have it at the same place so here okay so what i'm going to do now here so what i can do i can either uh resize my image here so for example i don't want it to you, you can if you want it to be entirely uh, covered by your total frame you can do that or if you don't want like mine i don't want this to be fully covered i just want to place this one probably here like next to next here all right so this is i want to place it somewhere here i don't want it to be entirely covered so you can resize this accordingly according to your preferences all right so you can do that and then you can also add in uh for example some effects here so you can there's filters here which you can add in or um you can also add some effects if you want so you can choose any of these uh effects here you know you can 
uh, you can choose that for example here you can choose that orange and teal so I'll do that and then if you want to add any more any effects you can um, try here or if you want to add in some fading uh, fading fade out options also you can do that all right so you can do uh, you can play around and make uh, your preferred settings for you so you can do that and then here so these things and then if you want to add yeah that's as i said earlier so you can also add uh, effects here so just ch just check in here so you can add any 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 uh, effects if you want to so whatever you feel you you want to you can just add in so for example something like that so I'll just add that okay something like that yep that's fine so that's good enough and then uh oh yeah and then i uh, forgot to mention earlier so when your text here so if you want to change your colors you can change your color here so click on colors and then you can change it to whatever uh, color that suits you you can just change that okay and then you can also resize this and add in and place it wherever you want so you have this okay something like this and then um and then once you are like oh done with everything like all your editing and all this stuff for example um with adding your text your images and effects and if you are like fully satisfied with this uh, with with this thumbnail here so you want this um this picture as your thumbnail you're particularly at this thumbnail and as you can see the size of this picture is also perfect for thumbnail as i said earlier because we have chosen this ratio here so this is now all good all right so now that i'm fully done with my editing and everything so i'm happy with this uh thumbnail here this picture is enough i'm, I'm satisfied with my thumbnail so what i'm going to do now here is i'm going to just simply do a screenshot a screen grab of this image here then i can i can just use it um I can use it off for my thumbnail so all right so i'm going to do uh what i'm going to do now is i'm going to do a screenshot of this picture here so what i'm going to do so let me screenshot all i need here is i just need this picture here as my screenshot so let me do just using the snipping tool to get a screen capture that's fine okay so this is image is now fine so what i'm going to do i can simply save it save as okay and then that's fine i'll just save this picture all right so i'm going to use this picture now as my thumbnail or you can also uh zoom this in like bring it to full screen and then now do a screen capture and then uh save it on your computer or save it on your on your system and then you can use it as a uh your thumbnail so that's uh pretty much it is so that's how uh, you can uh, you can create a uh, make a thumbnail using clip chat so it's pretty basic so you can uh, if you need a quick and uh, simple thumbnail you can always use a clip chat to get that done so that's pretty much it is hope this video is helpful to you all i'll see you all in another video thank you